When we think of joy, we often consider it as our response to something, something that has happened already. And I want to share with you a story that is in 1 Samuel chapter 4, the first couple verses. So in this story, the Philistines and Israel are at war. In fact, they've been at war for a while now, and the, Isra uh, the Israelites have already lost 4,000 men in battle. And they get so frustrated that they say, well, let's bring the Ark of the Covenant of God into the, into the camp, which should have probably been their first thought of having God in their midst, in the middle of battle from the get-go, but bygones. So they bring God in. They bring the Ark of the Covenant. So the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord of Heaven's armies. And when they brought that ark into their midst, they were so overjoyed that the ground shook with their shout of joy. Consider that. You know, we, we like to think of joy and maybe we have some emotion in our heart or some on our face, but such an outpouring of joy that the entire ground shakes. It's overwhelming. And the beauty in this kind of joy is that God hadn't yet acted in this particular situation. It's a joy of expectation because they have the Lord of heaven's armies, the Lord of hosts, the Lord who is sovereign over all, all forces on earth and in heaven. He is in their midst. May that joy about God be the kind of joy that drives you forward, the kind of joy that is not waiting for God to act before it's poured out. It's the kind of joy that flows over in expectation as God is preparing to act, but hasn't yet done anything. Think about that. God is always working for us. We should expect the way he's going to act on our behalf and be joyful in advance of that. God is faithful and good. I hope this brings you joy. Blessings on you.